So you got to this link because you are a podcast listener. Thank you very much. I really appreciate the fact that you listen to the podcast. But what I really appreciate even more is when you share your stories about how you're applying the concepts into the work that you do. Again, the tools that we talk about, the people that we bring on are focused not only on sales, but business and life. And there's an impact that you can have at home with your kids, in the office with your team, inside that gray matter between your two ears when you have some time to think um, by yourself. Well, so uh, we talk about know your approach and know your approach. This is a, this is a, a process that I put together that has a foundation in the OODA loop. And if you haven't listened to it, listen to Dave Burke's podcast episode where he talks about the OODA loop. And OODA loop comes from John Boyd. Uh, it's observe, orient, decide, act. And this is, this is the OODA loop. So the way that we should really write this is O, O, D, A. And as you go through this, you loop back to observe. Now, some people will argue and say it's not a closed loop. Um, and this is one of the iterations that you'll see in what I talk about in Know Your Approach. So in Know Your Approach, what we want to do first is we want to identify, identify who is our target? Who's the person we want to engage with? Who's the person that we'd like to have a conversation with? Who do we think could potentially be a prospect? So we identify. Then we engage. So we send an email. We make a phone call. We ask for an introduction. Identify. Engage. Determine what our objectives are. So what are our objectives? What is it that we want to accomplish? We identify, we engage, we establish objectives, we clarify next steps, next steps. And you know how important next steps are. If we're engaging with people and we don't understand what our next steps are, we're, we're, we're not doing our job. There should be some clarity around what our desired next steps are. That doesn't mean that they actually end up being the next steps. Some things can change. So we identify, we engage, establish objectives, clarify next steps, and then we call to action. There's our call to action. And we re-engage. We establish objectives, clarify next steps. Call to action, engage, objectives, next steps. Call to action, engage, objectives, next steps. And what we're doing is we're creating forward momentum with this model. It's not a closed loop. It's not a closed loop. It's forward momentum. It's spiraling up and uh, to the right, up and to the right. We want to go up and to the right here. Identify, engage, establish objectives, clarify next steps, call to action. And I actually think that uh, Boyd had this in his loop. Um, it's just that people like to look at the simple version of coming right back to orient. You're never actually in the same place. You're not, you're reorienting yourself. So in this instance, we're re-engaging with people so that we can hold them accountable, we can continue to make progress, we continue to move things forward. So this is your approach from a rep perspective. And we'll put uh, an image of this in those uh, show notes. Thank you.